Hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Federico Talks Watches. Nope, this is not an old video shooting from the office today. Uh, I come in about once a week, if I, as I have explained, just to uh, keep things running. But today, I want to talk about something quite special. And that is a brand that's actually moving very quickly and making some very interesting watches. That brand is Norcane. Uh, I'm wearing the Norcane Freedom 60 right now. And guys, if you haven't heard of Norcane, this is not a micro brand. Uh, these guys actually quickly got a distribution network here in uh, the US. They're sold by Mayers, Goffberg, Hadinki. They sparked up a partnership with Tudor and Chanel via their movement manufacturer, Kinesi. And they have historical ties, which I'll explain in a second, to Breitling. And they make some very, very cool watches like the Freedom 60 right here. Now, I met Emmanuel, the managing director of uh, Norcane North America, at a Zenith uh, kind of cocktail event here in Miami. And I noticed he was wearing a watch that was super cool. I had no idea who he was, and I asked to learn more about it. And he actually said, well, this is, you know, the brand I represent. And I'm going to be honest, I never heard about him. But after doing some research, talking to Emmanuel, I begged him, can I please have a watch for review uh, on my channel? So thank you so much to uh, Norcane and Emmanuel for sending this watch in. Uh, you know, after this review, I'm actually going to send it back. And if you guys want to know more about Norcane watches, please check out the link in the description below. I think you'd be quite surprised. Anyway, guys, let's get into the hands-on part of the video, and then after, I'll give you a few special points about this very cool new brand. So here we go, guys. This is the Norcane Freedom 60 Chronograph. Now, before we get straight into this watch, Norcane was created in 2018 in Switzerland by a Mr. Kufer. And actually, his father... Uh, was a longtime watch industry veteran, and part of the Norcane's board is Teddy Schneider. Now, do you recognize that name? You should. He is the son, or the actually grandson, of the founder of Breitling. So, quite a few heavy hitters pushing this brand forward. Now, as I said, this is the Freedom 60 Chronograph. It's a 43 millimeter watch that is 15 millimeters thick and has 100 meters of water resistance, which for a chronograph is not particularly common. As you can see, this is a handsome chronograph with a neo-vintage aesthetic. Now, there are quite a few details I really enjoy. Now, screw down crown, as you can see, that really helps with that water resistance. Excuse the gloves, I do fumble a little bit with them. However, we've got a panda dial, date at 4.30, and probably my favorite detail here are the syringe style hands, which is something quite uncommon. I also like that they put a uh, kind of radium dial, uh, radium style luminova. It does glow in the dark, but it has that vintage cream patina, which can be overdone, but, not, but on this watch, it's actually quite subtle. Full of little details like the sign crown and actually the plate on the side of the watch, this one says Norcane, but uh, you can also engrave it with anything you like. A nice little touch by Norcane as well. Highly polished bezel, and as you can see on my wrist, which is about seven and a half inches, it fits rather well. I've actually been enjoying this for the entire weekend, and I think as a casual, as a casual sports watch that can be dressed up a little bit, maybe put on a more formal strap, this works quite well. It's kind of got a Breitling Transocean aesthetic, uh, so a sporty watch, but not too gaudy, no rotating bezel. The dial is quite wide. The bezel is very, very thin. You know, it's it's got that vintage aesthetic. Now, the back, we have the Valjoux 7753, a very common chronograph movement with a Norcane uh, engraved rotor that seems to also be treated to be slightly darker. Now, my one complaint of this watch, uh, which may or may not be justified, is I'm just a little tired of 7750 based watches. That being said, there's not that many choices unless you go in-house, and that you know can cost 
millions of dollars. Maybe I would have picked the Le Joux Pere 7750 style movement, which is basically a 7750 made by another company uh, in a slightly wider main plate. So it would fill up the case back a little bit. But let's be honest, this watch uh, and, and at this price point of you know just under $3,800, the movement is more than appropriate. It's got pump style chronograph pushers, very, very crisp as you can see. And the watch is just full of detail. I particularly like the lugs here. You could see the chamfer or it transitions from highly polished on the lug hoods to brushed on the sides of the case. That is not something you see many watches at this price point do. It does show a particular attention to detail, which, you know, does harken to more expensive watches. They've even got a, a vintage leather strap here with what they call the Norcane stitch, which kind of harkens to their mountaintop logo, which I think is quite neat as well. This watch is absolutely fantastic for anybody that kind of has that Breitling style but wanted something maybe a little bit more vintage. It's not quite as Spartan as IWC, not quite as busy as Breitling. A panda dial chronograph is always handsome, and I think for a brand um, that is essentially only two years old, this is a hell of a watch. Let's go back into the studio, and I can tell you a little bit more about it and my final thoughts. So guys, that is the Norcane Freedom 60 Chronograph. Now, I know there's a lot of little watch brands popping up here or there, but I did want to make a distinction between an independent brand and a watch brand. These guys have headquarters in Switzerland, have a real authorized dealer network here in the United States. Uh, they've got watchmakers, they've got service centers. It's not a brand that's just going to disappear overnight. And while $4,000 isn't exactly inexpensive, I do think you get the quality that commiserates with the watch that you get. I think it adds up quite well. I also think the brand has a lot of big things up on the horizon. As I said, they've worked out a deal with Kinesi, which is the movement manufacturer owned by Tudor. Uh, and as far as I know, Tudor hasn't allowed anybody else to use their movements. So that is a pretty big feather in Norcane's cap. Guys, let me know what you think. I think interesting brands like this with uh, real attention to detail and quality deserve our attention. And I'd love to know uh, your thoughts on this watch. If you guys want to check out Norcane watches, check out the website in the description below. And thank you so much to Norcane and Emmanuel for sending me this watch to review. I really, really appreciate it. And I genuinely wish you guys the best of luck. I'm a real fan. Guys, thank you so much, and I'll catch you in the next one. Take care.